this video's demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the new or the replacement or the reorder of the um, small cracker from the John Next Door Christmas collection. Um, so there may there is another video on showing you originally when this one came out. Now we have reordered it, so I want to show you through how to use it. So what I'm going to do is here I've got a piece of paper, and this is 190 GSM. This is from the new Christmas paper pad. Um, and what you need to do with this is the die has been designed so that it has no cut line at the edges so that you get the entire width of the paper so obviously if you wanted to make them longer you can do by using longer paper and this die has been designed so it fits perfectly within your a5 die cutting machines so if you've been able to use the cracker previously because you don't have a large enough machine you'll be able to use it now so what i've done is taken a piece of a4 paper and cut it in half so this is approximately five and three quarter inches as you can see, you don't actually need that much card. You can actually get away with five inch card, but I find it's easier to have the excess. And what we need to do is just to strengthen this where all of these little tabs are, is to add some sticky tape on. So we line up our die against our paper and we put sticky tape or sellotape down where these points will be. That strengthens the points and makes sure that when you pull the cracker together, it doesn't break. So I'm just gonna wrap the tape over. You don't need to do that, you can do it to the exact size. And we simply place our die on evenly between the paper and we tape it down. And we can simply run that through our standard A5 embossing machines or die cutting machines. So I run that through, but I've got one here that I've already done. So which you won't see, but the sellotape is there protecting those little pieces. And all I've done is add on some holographic peel offs on the lines just for a little bit of decoration and then some six millimeter power tape down the three tabs. I would suggest using power tape or a very good red line tape for this. So we simply now need to curl this. So you can curl it by pulling it down on the edge of a table. You can take something like a board and just pull it along or a rule. And all you're wanting to do is just to curve your paper slightly, just like that. So we then want to take off our tape. And as I said, use a decent tape. If you can't get hold of power tape, then use a very good red line strong tape because you are putting this under pressure. And we simply meet the edges together and join them. So it meets over so that these little sections meet. And the same on the end. And again, you can just take something like a pokey tool or a pair of scissors just to make sure it's nicely stuck down. So there we have our sort of mini cracker. And all we need to do then is to pull it together. So I'm using here, this is actually a five mil organza ribbon, but you can use anything at all, twine or anything. So I'm just gonna cut it into two pieces. I'm going to make a loop and pass that under the cracker. Take the two ends and thread them through the loop and pull and it pulls the cracker together and then all you have to do is put a simple knot in and it's fixed and do the same with the other side make a loop fold underneath push the two ends through and separate the two ends and pull them down make sure it's in the middle and then tie off and there is your mini cracker made really simply beautifully these are perfect for using on wreaths for using on christmas trees and make wonderful tea crackers for parties and events way outside of christmas and um, i've seen people put engagement rings and all sorts of things in them and you can decorate it however you want to here's one made in silver waterfall glitter card with just some of the medium sized bells added i love those and they're beautiful in little pairs or little sets